With an FCTV, with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Taunton away in the National League South. Adam, going into this one, another trip to the West Country for us. Of course, we're there most weeks now. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into it? No, yes, might as well um, buy a little place down there, haven't we? We're down there so often. But no, yes, um, obviously looking forward to it. Um, it's a still um, etched in my memory, uh, being 2 0 up and losing 3 2. And that potentially could have cost us last season um, finishing in the top three, which would have made a big difference going into the playoffs. So, um, yeah, that's still. Uh, very much in the forefront of my mind and um, yeah, know that you can't go there and, and rest in your laurels even if you're 2 no up. We made some mistakes on the day that cost us, um, I think there was a dubious handball against Joel as well. Um, I think there's a couple of penalties, I think Harrison gave one away as well when he come rushing out. So yeah, we've got to uh, obviously put that right and you know, go there full of confidence after Tuesday night. It was a good second half display. I thought first half as well, like, um, you know, in the main, I think we did create the better chances. A lot of their chances come from set pieces that they had one just go wide, and I think there's one long range effort that Rocco saved. Um, but other than that, I thought we made some made some good opportunities, and um, so it, it was a good performance, especially away from home. Like they didn't realise that they um, hadn't been beaten at home all season, so to go there and, and make it as emphatic as it was. Um, Obviously, a really good good result and good performance, and like I say, we want to build on that uh, going into Saturday. And looking at some of the individual performances, Jesse Starkey is one in particular. I think a lot of people are really impressed by it, especially given how in and out he is. He's not here all the time, obviously, he's not available in the team all the time. When he's playing as well as he is, though, do you think that's a possibility that he might be around a little bit more? Oh, yes, one of the um, conversations I have tonight. Um, see how Jesse's getting on, like, full credit to him, um, I thought last year when he was coming in he was, uh, you know, showed a little bit in terms of his fitness, but this year his fitness, um, you know, I brought him off just before the 70 mark, but you know, probably, you know, looked a little bit leggy, but could have stayed on um, on a heavy surface and give a little bit more, um, so yeah, he's one that I want to have a conversation with and hopefully he's, he's about a bit more, um, I think, um, just see the type of player he is, um, really excel with the, the personnel that we've got in. Um, I think we've got some good good players in there and I think uh, Mika could, could be a good foil for a day. Um, they complement each other quite well in terms of a day likes to um, win the ball back for us uh, and Jesse's very good on the ball so uh, when you've got the pair of them in there uh, it looks good and then that allows you Ricky to play a little bit more advanced and you know he's getting some goals for us so yeah it just makes a, for a good balanced team when them two play alongside each other so yeah it's a conversation we've got to have with Jess and we're hoping he'll be around a lot more but full credit to him he's got himself um, in, in a good place uh, fitness wise um, but yeah just want to stay on top of that and if we can get him a little bit fitter and a little bit sharper you know we know we've got a really exciting player for this level. Yeah, it'd be a great addition to the side. Looking at uh, potential absences for the team going to Saturday, Nick Wheeler was injured on Tuesday. Where, where is he looking? I think it was an ankle problem. Yeah, it's a recurrence of a, an ankle problem he, he picked up um, at home. Um, but Nick's like one of these that just wants to play. Like He probably shouldn't have played the other night, but you know he just doesn't let you know. He just wants to get out there and strap it and get on with it. and. Um, you know, full full credit to him um, for having that character, but I think it's just sort of caught up with him a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, he's one that's been excellent for us in the first sort of quarter of the season. Um, really consistent with his performances, his, his delivery into the box off of both feet is is exceptional. Um, so you know, he might not hurt us to, to give him a little rest and a little refresh. I don't think it's going to be anything too major. Um, obviously, speak to the physios and that tonight and, and see where we are with it, but. Hoping it's not too long term and uh, yeah, a little rest of it will do him a lot of good. Who do you think comes into his place? Um, there's a few options. Um, you know, we've got, got Luke A, uh, who's a natural, likes to play on the left hand side as well. Um, same as Nicky. Uh, a pair of them are a bit uh, hung up on playing on the left hand side, although they're right footed. Um, you know, but we, we can mix it around a little bit, to be honest. Um, you know, Ollie can go out there if we need to and, and come rolling in. Um, 
you know there's a, there's a few options um, but probably one Luke is the natural replacement on that left hand side for him um, you also got Bailey who can play out wide so yeah there's a there's a few options there um, but could be an opportunity for one Luke and that might be exactly what he needs as well at this stage just a little run of games yeah, again, a few goals as well. You've also scored on Tuesday night, which would do him a world of good as well in those, well, to go into a run of games as well. No, it would do, yeah. Um, I think anyone that's been out as long as uh, Luke has, they want to play week in, week out um, as soon as they feel fully fit. But, you know, he's, he's 31 now and, you know, he's out a long time out. So we've got to manage him as best we can. But at the same time, like I say, he's probably at a stage now where a run of games would do his fitness levels the world of good. Um, you know, we know what he can possess in a 1v1. Um, he's shown it numerous occasions this year, and I think that's him probably at 60 70%. Um, you know, this when Luke Hay gets fully fit and fully confident, it's a real exciting prospect for, for us to have. And, uh, you know, that's our challenge as a, as a coaching staff to try and demand that out of him on a regular basis and, and for himself as well to get himself as fully fit as he can and, and sharp and, and sprinting and running and getting all his stats up on that side of it. And, you know, it definitely feature more on the team. Looking away from him uh, in that forward line, uh, Jake Robinson, he's also had a knock recently. Where's Jake at the moment? Yeah, so Jake's, um, again, long time out, 37 now. Um, just had a bit of a recurrence of a hamstring problem um, that we just want to, rather than him come back and still feeling it, you know, we just want to get to the bottom of it and take a little bit longer to, to make sure that, you know, when Jake's back, he, he's fully back. And it might be a case for the first few weeks of the, of of his return, it might just be Saturdays for, for Jake. You might need to choose them Thursdays to recover. Um, but he's not far away, he's, he's doing some good work. Um, so we're hoping to see him back training with the group maybe next week and you know, after a week of training, be available for potentially Saturday week. Um, you know, I've got to finalise that with the, the physio. So yeah, that's what we're, we're hopeful for Jake's to be back for, for next Saturday. Um, and then, yeah, we just manage him as best we can, really. But, yeah, again, like he's already shown um, in glimpses that he's played this year. And that's not him fully up to speed yet. Um, showing glimpses what he can, can bring to us. And he's probably lived off scraps in those games. And, you know, he's been still scoring goals. So, you know, when we get him in a, a side that's confident and, you know, creating lots of chances, you know, he's the man we, we want on the end of him. Absolutely, uh, and also just around the team in general, you mentioned last Saturday about potentially looking to bring a few people in, a couple of loans have expired recently, where's that at the moment, is there any progress with that or anything that you're looking at at the moment? No, yeah, I'm going to sit down with Naif um, next couple of days and just see where we are budget wise really, um, you know, it's, it's like I think their manager is alluding to, we've got uh, a wealth of riches, which is definitely not the case, you know, don't get me wrong, this is... Um, give us a little bit more budget but it's all within our, the perimeter of the club and you know not gone and asked for the money that maybe have been recouped in in recent years on 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 signing so it's very very tired you know I have regular meetings with Nath about the budget and where we are with it and making sure that you know we're, we're coming in um, within the the the, the the budget that's been set at the start of the season. So, you know, Nave's really sort of um, tight on that. Um, and, you know, we've got work within our means. A um, couple of weeks' time, Glenn Ray's going to be back. You know, he's um, a big player. Um, so, he comes with a big fee as well. So, you know, there's there's all them sort of things we've got to, got to weigh up and, and see where we are. Um, we're hoping to have Ruben back in the squad after his loan um, to see how he's getting on. So yeah, I think we're probably going to be as we are now until the new year. Um, obviously in the new year there's a few decisions. We'll obviously have a decision on, on what um, Ruben's doing. We'll have a decision on Bailey, um, his, his loan will be up. Then um, and a few more uh, factors come into play um, around sort of like the new year and stuff. So we'll probably be as, as we are at the, um, you know, if, if we are to get players in and players have got to, um, go out unfortunately that's just where we are um, as a club so yeah we've got to um, be really sort of uh, uh, strict to see where we are and um, yeah hopefully get one or two of our, our players back and, and up to speed like I say Jake and Greg and 
um, cash, you know, <laughs> even with Nicky out, we've got one Luke Bailey, so there's there's definite option in the forwards areas, it's the defensive side, but then, you know, I don't think Glenn, Glenn's too far away, obviously Tatties will be available for minutes and Ruben coming back in on that left hand side, so we've got a few options there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it'll be a case of, um, need, if need be, we would have to recall some of the boys from line. Um, obviously, Miki um, doing well at Horsham. Um, and we've got Ollie Starkey, we've got Brad Dollahan, we've got even one of our exciting youngsters, Freddie Chester at Lewampton as well. So they're all out getting men's football, which is good. And there, if we, we need to recall them, and that would probably be the route we go. Nice one. And just to go back to Saturday, uh, looking ahead to that, yep. how are you feeling going into it? Are you confident? Are you, what are you expecting from it? And be nice to well get on the win, winning side of things in the yeah, West Yeah, no, it would. It would definitely. Um, but yeah, like I don't think you can ever get too confident in this league. Um, you know, probably went down there with loads of confidence last time. Was in a good run of form and went two and up, and you know, feeling very confident. And you come away with nothing. So you know, we've got a really just um, stay focused is, is the key thing. Um, we know that if we are like mentally sharp and we're not making silly mistakes that you know I think we've proved it in the last few weeks even that you know if we get confident and, and playing how we know we can play we're, we're a real handful for um, teams at this level and you know that's what we want to try and um, prove again on Saturday.